shopping in the drag. A girl is approached by a extremely good looking, tall, muscular salesman who walks straight up to Gwen and takes his hand. Help me, Jesus, I have died and gone to heaven. <laughs> oh, ladies. How can you help me today? I have lots of money. What she means is she has lots of money to spend on a dress. Or anything else that is uh, available. What's the occasion? Oh, our wedding. Uh, I, I mean, my, my, my friend's wedding. Uh, um, she's asked me to be her maid of honor, and Mandy is a bridesmaid, so we both need dresses. Um, could mine have a little less glitter than Gwen's? <laughs> I think we can find something to satisfy you <laughs> Do you think you could satisfy me a little more than Mandy? <laughs> Emma and Mandy fall behind looking at each other, happy for Gwen. Interior, Emma and Logan's living room. Two months later, Emma's mother, Mrs. Grant and Emma, are sitting on the couch with the such as Mom, I'm so glad the dress arrived while you were visiting. Emma opens the packet and pulls out her dress. It's huge. <laughs> <laughs> Emma winces but continues opening the dress and spreading it across the couch. The dress is white with a dark panel and a train that has white scroll work on it. Well, it has a long train, Mom. It will coordinate perfectly with everything we've already bought. But you said it was going to be a, a formal black and white wedding. It is not. This train is navy. No, no, it's just the white. <laughs> no, it's navy. It just can't be Navy. We are just, we're not seeing it right. It's, it's the light. Emma runs to the door and throws it open. She yells at the mailman who is still delivering mail on the street. Hey, you, uh, hey mailman. Can you come here, please? There's a problem. Uh, yeah. How can I help you? What color is this? It's Navy. No, it's black. <laughs> <laughs> That's Navy, Miss Grant. Then you brought the wrong dress! You brought the wrong dress all the way from China! Mailman checks over his shoulder and starts to back up slowly toward the door. He speaks slowly and gently while looking at Emma's mother for help. Uh, I have to deliver the rest of the mail. Uh, you take care now, Mr. Grant. But you brought the wrong dress! Watching the mailman run down the street, Emma notices the neighbor's teenage son, Tommy. Tommy! Tommy! Could you come over here, please? Enter a stoner kid. Emma leaves the dress still scrolled on the couch. What color is this? It's white, dude. <laughs> no. What color is this? Dark blue. Get out! <laughs> there, dude. Emma collapses on the couch next to the dress. Her mother stands with her hands on her hips, shaking her head. Did you tell them that you wanted a black and white dress? Yes! Well, no. I ordered it just as pictured, and it was pictured as a black and white dress. Are you sure? Yes! Oh, wow. Oh, well. I wasn't sure having a black and white wedding was really such a good idea anyway. Can you return it? It was custom made to my size. No returns. Well, maybe you could sell it on eBay. Surely there's some other big girls out there getting married. <laughs> would you like some to eat, Father? That would be nice. They exit toward the kitchen. Interior office building. In the morning, a few days later, Emma is typing in her cubicle. Mandy approaches wearing an outfit that is both as far as revealing her office. No, Mandy. If, they keep if you keep dressing like that, they're going to have to install a pole next to your desk. Well, then, maybe I would need a fireman. <laughs> okay. What's up, girl? I was just talking to Henrietta in accounting. There are still people named Henrietta? Yeah, and she works in accounting. Henrietta says there is a dress shop not far from here that specializes in voluptuous sized wedding dresses. I've already called Gwen. She can meet us there after work. Mandy, yeah, I have to go today. Why not? Well, I just can't. Emma, you are running out of time. We have got to find you a dress. Listen, this morning I was in a huge hurry. I just, I had to throw on whatever clothes I had and, and rush to work. You know what I mean? Not really, but come on, just say a little, please. Okay, but just so look, I won't try on anything. Great, see you later. Mandy exits and returns to her work. Interior bridal shop afterwards, same day. Our girls enter the shop and are instantly pleased at what you're seeing. A large sign on the wall clearly reads, Boutique for the Buxom Betrothed. They are approached by a pretty sweet, chubby salesgirl. 
Oh my god, it's just like the Charlie's Angels just walked into my shop. How many of you are getting married? <laughs> well, just me for now. Don't worry, there will be there will be two more catches for you before long. Let's get you into your new dress. The girls are beaming as the sales girl leads them into the store to look at dresses. She directs Wynn and Mandy to a couple of plush, comfy chairs and have to a rack full of large dresses. Don't worry, most of these are going to be too big for you, but uh, it's okay. We can uh, we can get we can cut them down to fit your pretty figure. Oh, she is good. I wonder if she used to sell cars. <laughs> and how about this? One? It's beautiful, but I'm having a black and white wedding, and there's. I have got just the dress for you. I think it's about your size. Emma, it's beautiful. Try it on! No, I don't want to. Not today. Excuse me, ladies. I'm going to be right back. What, what is wrong with you, girl? Why don't you try, get in there and, and try on that dress? Okay, I'll try it on. Emma enters the dressing room. Moves her top and slips the dress over her head. Just then the curtain is yanked back by the sales girl. Oh my. Well, we have to get you out of those pants if we're going to get a proper fit. But, um. The sales girl begins to bend over. Everything goes slow mo as the sales girl begins to lift the skirt of the dress. Suddenly, the sales girl is standing beside Emma with Emma's pants in her hand. There, see, now that wasn't so bad, was it? Nobody's got me out of my pants that fast since prom night. <laughs> Here by at a table, <laughs> early evening, our girls and the sales girl are sitting around a table full of foo foo drinks. It's a beautiful dress, and you are going to look like a million dollars on your wedding day. Cheers for Emma and Logan. Wait. Thanks for inviting me out, ladies. I just wanted to let you know I was running really late this morning, and I just can't be late for work anymore, so I just threw on whatever and, and left for work. Oh, don't be embarrassed. I've seen lots of the girls with the uh, days of the week underwear on. It's no biggie. I'm cool. And hey, I figure if a total stranger is going to see my Wednesday underwear, I'm at least going to get a drink out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Today is Thursday! <laughs> Emma and Logan now is living the week. A different day. The couple is sitting on the couch in the background. There is a dress bag containing the dress hanging out of the door. They each have a glass of wine. Emma looks over her shoulder at the dress and speaks to Logan. Are you excited about the wedding day? I'm excited about you and me being married. You don't mind all this wedding planning and drama about finding a dress? I don't even mind when wearing a dress as long as you and I end up together. Now when our parents get a load of him sauntering down the aisle in a strapless formal... Uh, Never well, mind uh, all that. You always say it's you and me that matters. You and me against the world, babe. Do you think I'm looking at that dress? You look good to me no matter what. Yeah. Well, that's why I don't want you to get lazy. <laughs> Couple's kisses, we fade out. 